The seventh law of exponents has the rule, to raise a quotient to a power, you can multiply each of its terms by the same power. Here's an example. We have the quotient r divided by s, and the whole thing is being brought to the power of x. We can get rid of the bracket, and then we can show that r is brought to the power of x, and s is also brought to the power of x. But how does this imply multiplication? Well, if we look at the example again, but we're showing that the r in our original example is actually r to the 1, and the s is s to the 1. We are multiplying 1 by x to get this x here for the r, and we're multiplying 1 by x to get the x here as the exponent of s. Another example. Here we have r squared over s cubed. The quotient is brought to the power of 3. We can remove the bracket, and we just have to multiply the r squared's exponent 2 by the other exponent 3. 2 times 3 is 6, so we have r to the 6. The s exponent is a 3. We also multiply that by this exponent outside the bracket 3. 3 times 3 is 9, so we have s to the 9. One more example, with numbers as basis. Here we have 7 over 3 to the power of 4 as a quotient, and the whole quotient is being brought to the power 2. If we remove the bracket, then 7 has the exponent 1, and 1 times 2 is 2, so our num numerator is 7 squared. The 3 has the exponent 4, and 4 times 2 is 8, so our new denominator is 3 to the power of 8. This operation can be done forwards or backwards. In an exam question, I could be given 7 squared over 3 to the 8, and it might be useful for me to convert it into the quotient 7 over 3 to the 4, in brackets brought to the power of 2. This is the seventh law of exponents.